Ladies, gentlemen, am I often forgotten, but certainly not by me. People who've taken an arrow to the knee, welcome to the channel, and welcome to another video. As you can tell, this video is a little bit of a change up from the usual pace of my videos, and it's just something I want to try, it's a little bit of a different pace, and uh, just let me in the comments down below what you think of it when the end of the video rolls around. But today, we're here to talk about one thing, and one thing only. What the heck are Death Spore arrows, and how do they work? So death spore arrows basically are crit arrows for range, being that they give a 3% extra crit chance and they have their own unique effect, being that once you build up to 5 stacks of death spore arrows, the next threshold or ultimate or really anything that uses adrenaline, uh, ability, or special attack that you use will be given a uh, 0 adren cost. So in effect, you can get a free Darkbow spec, a free SGB spec, you could get a free DS or Incendiary Shot, honestly the sky is the limit. Also a fun tidbit about these arrows is that every time you crit once the cooldown happens, because they have a 60 second cooldown, uh, every time you crit with the arrow still equipped, they do uh, reduce that cooldown by 1.8 seconds, so if you just have like 8 rapid fires, that's quite a bit of time save. And honestly, I've accidentally left my Death Spores on a few times in some DSs, and I've gotten the effect a couple different times, so it is something to consider. However, I would not really recommend these as full-on camp arrows, being that their main benefit is that they reduce adrenaline. Now, if this is all you have, these are very cheap arrows, if I just right-click here and examine. They're 488 GP each, so as far as a camp arrow, it's a very cheap arrow to use if you're worried about uh, like supply costs and other things. These are definitely ones to consider for that. However, the main use that I have for Death Spore arrows is for getting a free Death Swiftness to then use Incendiary Shot right afterwards, thus giving me the Crit Adren buff for the rest of my death swiftness in theory because incendiary shot does take an extra global cooldown to kind of blow up you know it's kind of like a delayed bomb so to speak at least the animation it shoots into the target and then it blows up a global cooldown later and that is when you get the crit adren buff being that every single crit chance you get or crit strike that you get whatever you want to call it it will give you 10% additional adrenaline for that crit over a 30 second period of time. So basically up until the last couple seconds of your death swiftness, you're going to be getting free adrenaline for every single crit that you do. Now the one drawback to these arrows is that you have to crit to build up stacks. Now yes you can use Calgurian Demon and you can use Grimoire to get a good uh, crit chance and make these actually not too bad to use and they do give 3% crit chance themselves however we're still talking about crits and even with all of these modifiers sometimes you just don't crit and you get very unlucky so sometimes like say the uh, end of Solak p4 if you're using range uh, you really have to improv a rotation afterwards and hope that it works out because your death spores didn't want to build I've definitely had that happen more than I want to really say that it happened like you would think Think something like that would only happen maybe you know one or two times every couple hundred kills but now I, I can think of probably three or four times in the past probably 10 hours of the boss that I've done where death spores just don't want to build just like if you're using magic and you know the, uh, the uh, crit stick doesn't want to pop off the uh, good old ABS spec sometimes it just flat out doesn't crit you know it's kind of that 50-50 coin toss. But now that I've kind of given a general explanation on what they are and what they do, let's go ahead and look at some examples here and give you more of a visual representation of what these arrows actually do. Alrighty, go ahead and equip the arrows. Now if I go over to a dummy here and turn on max hit mode, what that's going to do is give me guaranteed crits. So I'm already at 100% adrenaline, so as a visual representation, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Gricko, which with the Karoming for all my bow will give seven total hits which will more than satisfy the five required for death spore so if i go ahead and attack the dummy and hit gricko you will see a number of, or a timer from 10 will start to count down and that's how long i have to cast an ability so i could go ahead and hit death swiftness and then incendiary shot 
And then after that, I'm off to the races and I can do stuff in my Death Swift and just go on a rotation per usual. Alrighty, so with that visual representation out of the way, let's go ahead and move into an actual example Death Swift rotation. So for as far as relics are concerned, these are just my elite dungeon farming relics. This is also where I've been using range. So if you use COE over this, feel free. It is definitely very helpful as far as adrenaline gain is concerned, especially after uh, Death Swiftness. It's a free 10%. However, in this example, I'm just going to omit it because not everyone has 120 archaeology. Although if you did have best in slot, you know, they do kind of go in hand in hand. But hey, every player is different as far as their path to full send. So anyways, these are just the relics I'm running and I'll do the example thusly. Alrighty, so for the example, we'll go ahead and get our prayers up. Now, I do use Calgurian Demon, and I do use Grimoire to make getting these Death Spores a little less obnoxious, so equip the arrow. And I usually start it with a rapid fire, and I'll just watch this uh, stat count go up. And the Gricko got us there, so now we can go ahead and go into our Death Swift. And I'll immediately equip my other arrow. In this case, it's a full arrow. Wait for the Incendiary. Go into a bow spec. And assuming the boss is large enough, I would go into an SGB, maybe limitless into a snapshot and get a rapid off. I'm going to do one more basic here. Another Gricko. Not getting the luckiest on crits here. Maybe another couple basics to get a triple Debo. Maybe a Gricko here into a Tendies, into a snap. And then maybe another rapid fire and that's our ds over with so as far as general principles are concerned with this method what i typically do in a sun is aim for two snaps two rapids as many grickos as i can fit in for adrenaline and an sgb and as many debos as my adren will allow now obviously since i'm using bow of the last guardian here i am definitely aiming for triple debos being that if you have two stacks built up on the bow when you're uh, in spec and you see you now the little parenthesis there and it says two hit three and four of the debo which is just a two hit special attack that will count and trigger the effect which will then be a third debo hit which under ecb as you can see and both on kind of that uh little example ds and on the one cycle video i did on friday triple debo does massive amounts of damage especially when crits are involved and you're able to just kind of almost spam them back to back like debo into a gricko into another Debo. And honestly, that is kind of the fun of this whole setup. Now with range, there's kind of two schools of thought going on here. One is a crit focus setup like you're seeing here with Death Spore, and you'll see this at bosses like Zami, Elite Dungeons, and kind of other bosses of the sort where either poison doesn't work or the boss fight isn't long enough to take effects of poison, being that you can't fully get all of the big stacks up and whatnot. So um, as far as, you know, one versus the other, you can use Grim with a poison setup and try and use Death Spore with it. However, in any testing that I've done with uh, using Grim and the death sport arrows in a poison setup uh it's been a lot more rng than i'm ever willing to play with as far as a uh, actual setup for ultimates are concerned especially on something like p4 solak where you're kind of reliant on getting that built up and having it go if you're just sitting there trying to get death spores up and the phase starts then you're starting behind and then you're just kind of improving a rotation and hoping that it works and honestly it's kind of a headache so as far as poison setup is uh let me know in the comments below what your experience is with using death spores with some type of poison setup but personally i only really use the death spore arrows with a crit setup being that i'm using calg demon i'm using uh reaver's ring i'm using grim and obviously the arrows themselves are going to give crit chance but i'm using all these things to really take the rng as much as i can out of these arrows so that way i can kind of generally fit it into our rotation now, i would like to see these updated in the future potentially with uh, some type of update to how stacks are built you know whether that uh increase increases to seven stacks but it's hit base so we could just pop a gricko before our ds and go to town i'm sure some balancing would need to be done there or maybe it's some type of interaction coming with a new armor set you know the sky's the limit when it comes to updating things and kind of doing band-aid fixes like that where it's just you know changing it to hit base 
Uh, sometimes a little, something a little more creative could come up and be a lot more fun. However, I would like to see some type of change to Death Spore arrows to where they're a lot less RNG dependent to actually get working very nicely and integrated into a rotation, unlike their current state. Although in their current state, you can make them work with a full crit setup. And at ED1, I've gotten them relatively consistent. Uh, sometimes I'll miss a one cycle just from Death Spore not building up, but typically it's been pretty consistent. So, you know, I'm willing to give them a pass for now. And they do get a decent, uh, you know, quote unquote, car guy seal of approval for whatever that's worth. And overall, this is how I use Death Spore arrows. And also, yes, this is kind of a DPS update guide giving you guys another rotation on how I use the bow with Death Spore arrows and kind of my updated Death Swiftness. But with all that being said, I hope this video was helpful. And let's go ahead and roll that outro. Ladies, gentlemen, and people that took an arrow to the knee, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate your viewership as always. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you next time for the next video. Peace.